Jimmy fans, welcome again. As I mentioned earlier, I purchased a number of cosmetic accessories which I'm going to be adding to the Jimny. The first one I'm going to take a look at is the rear defogger guards, which just uh, is used to protect these exposed wires from anything that could be shifting around in the back of the car or maybe something that you'd be able to damage if you're loading the car with uh, heavy items. So the defogging or defogger guard that I ordered um, is from Jimny Style. You could probably find them on eBay or somewhere else. That's what it looks like and you can see that the instructions are not in English. So this one goes on the right hand side. Um, you can see it fits pretty well onto the tailgate. Uh, make sure it's you know where about it's going to go before you um, before you take the double sided tape off. So I'll just make sure that it fits correctly. And I'd say, um, yeah, maybe press it down for a few seconds just to make sure that it fits firmly. So this is where my headrests have been lying. So what I would like to do is I would like to store them over there. You could probably do this without using the instructions, um, but what I did was I used Google Translate to help me out a little. As part of the, um, the order, I received a rear bracket, a front bracket, and then I also received a few screws or bolts and an Allen key and then a base for the bottom that the headrest rests in. When it comes to removing the screws, you want to leave the first screw and you only want to unscrew the four screws behind it, so the last four screws. You can also see on the instructions here that there are a few images, but um, you can use your phone and Google Translate if you'd like. So what you'll do now is you'll take the four screws, the four plastic screws which are removed from the Jimny, and you're going to be placing them into the back of the brackets, and then over the screws you'll place the four round foam uh, spacers, which uh, will go between the bracket and the inside of the vehicle. Then what you'll do is you'll grab your four bolts, your Allen key, and uh, you'll just make sure that the bracket you have in the front is the one that says front, and then you'll uh, fasten the bracket to the inside of the car using the, uh, the four bolts. What we'll do next is we'll grab the two rear seat headrests and uh, we'll just slide them into place and then um, once you've slid them into place you can grab a cloth, um, any type of cloth just to wipe away any dust that might be below the headrest, do it on both sides and then we're going to grab the, um, the headrest uh, holder or just a piece at the bottom that's going to stop the, uh, keep the headrest from resting on the plastic. Now if you need to remove your front seats headrests or you arrive somewhere and you want to put your seats flat so that you can camp and maybe sleep inside the car, you can also grab the front seats headrests and then uh, place them into the bracket. Everyone knows that uh, the Jimny comes pretty basic and uh, storage space seems to be something that um, it's pretty limited. So this is the center storage console from Jimny Style. Uh, it's got Velcro at the bottom, just fits into place. And uh, then you kind of just uh, press the Velcro down onto the floor. And that's all there is to the center storage console.
So finally installing the armrest. It was a little bit more challenging than the previous three items, but uh, let's get started. First you'll need to remove the, um, the seat cover. You'll just uh, need to undo the zip and also just unclip the bottom of the seat cover. Once you've uh, moved the cushioning out of the way, you'll see the spot where the, um, where the armrest is going to be mounted to. So the, uh, you'll see that there are already bolt holes drilled, so no drilling needs to be done. This is just a close-up view, so you can get, see a little bit closer. Um, so those are going to be the two holes where the armrest is going to be attached. Now the spring on the inside did pose a little bit of a challenge. You are going to have to move the spring or take it off. Um, so what I did was, I thought, uh, I actually struggled to get it off in the beginning, so I tried using a hammer which was probably not the wisest thing to do. Um, couldn't push it out either. So I tried to use um, just a spanner and the hammer just to knock it out again, but uh, that was also unsuccessful. What ended up working was all I did was I just seemed to work by just um, gently twisting the wire and it uh, just popped, uh, sorry, twisting the spring and the spring was able to just pop out of place. And that's what the mount looks like once you've uh, installed it or mounted it. You'll use the Allen key and uh, you'll just need a spanner to get it in place. Now to put the spring back, I did have to bend the, um, the bracket open a little bit. Once I bent it open, I did manage to get the spring back in quite easily. And once I got the spring back in, um, the uh, little mount where the spring is, um, is held in place. I just used the hammer to, um, to reposition it so that it wasn't loose, just to uh, make sure that the spring was fastened back in place. You can see it's quite a tight spot over there where the spring has to fit in between the bolts. I was initially a little bit apprehensive about using the carpet knife to um, to cut through the upholstery but if you make sure of your measurements prior to doing it you'll have the correct places to cut it isn't too difficult um, cutting through the cushion was a little bit challenging um, but yeah you'll just need to pull the cushion pretty tight to get an idea of where the mount is going to be sticking through and then um, pull the cushioning quite tightly over the mount and then uh, zip the seat back up and then the next thing you're going to be doing is cutting a small hole um, through the upholstery, through the seat cover. Uh, make sure that the hole is quite small. Um, don't cut the hole too big. And then um, you'll just uh, kind of squeeze the, um, the mount uh, through the small hole that you've made in the, uh, in the seat cover. Then you'll put the, um, I think it's called a plastic ring over the seat cover. You just leave a space in the front for where the Allen key is going to be tightening the um, the mount onto the armrest, or fastening the mount onto the armrest. And that is it. Um, I hope that helps, but I highly recommend you get the armrest. It's very practical. Um, it's not too difficult to install. You can definitely install it at home on your own.